Do you have an Arduino project that requires precise control of multiple servos? Well today I'm going to show you a demo using the SunFounder PCA9685 16 channel PWM servo driver. This board is an I2C control pulse width modulation driver with a built in clock, meaning that it runs completely free and it won't tie up your microcontroller by continually sending signals. And it's 5 volt compliant, meaning you can use a 5 volt power supply. It's also compatible with the 3.3 volt microcontrollers such as Raspberry Pi. You can control up to 16 free running PWM outputs using only two pins. You can also chain 62 of these breakout boards together totaling 992 PWM outputs. That's pretty impressive. You should be powering your servo motors through the green terminal block which also has polarity protection. When chaining multiple boards together, the headers on the right side of board 1 would connect to the headers on the left side of board 2. The headers on the right side of board 2 would connect to the headers to the left side of board 3, and so on. For each board that is chained together, each board should have its own unique I2C address. You can change the address of a board using the six address select pins at the top right. I checked the SunFounder website and they show you an image of how to join the two solder pads together to change the address, and they show you how the address naming scheme changes when you're writing your code. Now it's time to connect my driver board to the Arduino. I'm using Arduino Mega and we're going to connect this left header here on the driver board to the Arduino. We're going to connect ground and VCC. Now the VCC pin only controls, only powers the chip. It doesn't power our servos. That is powered. We're going to power that through the terminal block right here. But for now the VCC powers just the chip. But anyway, the ground, I'm going to connect the ground, the VCC, I'll connect a 5 volt. I'm also going to connect SCL and SDA to, a, to the corresponding pins on my Arduino. So let's go ahead and do that. Connect the ground pin. And we'll do the VCC pin, which is the bottom one here, or the second from the bottom, to 5 volt. And then we're connecting the SDA pin to the SDA pin on the Mega. So now this board is connected to my Arduino Mega. Now I've got five servo motors here that I want to connect to my board. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect all five of these. Now remember the brown wire is the ground, the middle wire is the uh, power, it's the VCC, and then the orange wire is the signal wire. So you come over here and it tells you ground on the bottom, uh, v plus and then pulse width modulation. So it goes brown on the bottom, orange on the top. So there's one. Now these are in groupings of four and I've already put my first four on here starting at zero, one, two, and three. So I move over to four. I put this last servo on it for a total of five. And here's a diagram that you may find useful. Now that we've got all five servos connected to our board here, it's time to connect the external power and we're going to connect that right here to the terminal block. And I'm going to use this power connector. Since these servos can draw over one amp under load, you should be using 5 volt 10 amp supply for this. And I'll plug this in here and plug this into my terminal block. Positive goes on the left here, my left, and ground goes on my right. I'm going to screw them down, and I'm just going to go ahead and plug them in. Alright, and the next thing I'm going to do is plug in the Arduino. Got the red light power. Everything's good. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the code and make these servos move. Well here's the code and the first thing I should do is show you where to get this Adafruit library here. Just go over here to library, type in Adafruit underscore PWM, yeah PW, I can't type, there we go PWM library and just install that right there, Adafruit PWM servo driver library. Install that, open it up and uh, you can use it. So now that we got that out of the way, let's check out the code. This code initializes and controls the five servos that are connected to the servo driver and it'll sweep back and forth the servos between their minimum and maximum positions and provide smooth movement. 
As you can see, we start off with two libraries, the Wire Library and the Adafruit PM, or PWM Servo Driver Library. And you'll see on line four, this creates an instance that allows us to interface with the, the servo driver. And then uh, down line six, we, uh, we define the number of servos, which is five. The servo min and max are the position of the servo in terms of pulse width modulation value. And then the servo delay, we add one second. And here at uh, line 11, this declares a, an integer array and it's named servo pins. And this holds the channel numbers to which our servos are connected. And for us, it's gonna be zero, one, two, three, and four on the driver. In the setup, we initialize serial communication at a baud rate of 9600. Then we initialize the Adafruit uh, PWM servo driver and set the PWM frequency for the driver to 50 Hertz, which is common for servos. And then we initialize an array called servo pins with the, uh, the driver channel numbers in which our servos are connected. Well, the loop function is where the main action happens, and you can see the code rotates all the servos from minimum position to their maximum position incrementally by one and a for loop. And inside the loop, it sets the PWM signal for each servo using the PWM.setPWM to move them to the current position. And then we introduce a 15 millisecond delay for smoothness of the motion. After they reach their maximum position, you'll see that we uh, have a servo delay, which is one second. And then after that, it goes back to the minimum position, and that action repeats over and over. So let's check it out. Now we have all five of the servos operating off of the board here and not off of the Arduino. Keep in mind, you'll want your 5-volt power supply to be able to supply 1.5 to 2 amps per servo motor for this board. So for five servo motors under load, you'll want to use something like a 5 volt 10 amp power supply for this board. So this does work well. I do have one more. So let's let's try six. I haven't tried six yet. Let's see what it looks like. Now when we run an extra servo motor, all we do is come into the code here and we change, we update the number of servos from five to six and then update our array to include channel 5. And it looks like they're all working. And uh, well, that's it. That is the demo. How you connect six of these servos to the PCA 9685 16-channel 12-bit pulse width modulation servo driver by SunFounder. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Like it by giving it a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing if you like this kind of stuff so you can see more videos. Share it with someone else who might find a benefit. And uh, see you again next time. Thanks.